Hello to all my friends in room 149. It's Miss Deb and I'm here with this week's art activity, which is our last art activity for the summer. So today's art activity is a seahorse. We're going to make a beautiful seahorse. Hopefully everyone saw the story that Miss Deb posted about Mr. Seahorse and you can see all the beautiful colors that he has on his body. So I thought that to go with our book, we would make a beautiful, colorful Mr. Seahorse of our own. So if you go to the envelope that Miss Deb sent home at the beginning of the summer, the only thing that you should have left in there is a template of a seahorse. And attached to that template should be lots of pieces of different colored paper little squares of tissue paper. So if you want to pause this and go get it, feel free. If you want to watch this first to see how we're going to make it, you can do that too. It's very much along the lines of how we did our sparkly shark, our shiny shark last week. So in addition to needing your template and the paper squares, you're also going to need a glue stick and some scissors and a sharpie. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to take your seahorse template and you're going to put it seahorse side down. And in the interest of saving time and not making this video too long and boring for you, you should notice on the other side that Miss Deb drew an oval. And that's what you're going to do to fill in your seahorse. So here's what it's going to look like. You should have had an oval on the other side. I took the liberty of going ahead and filling it in now so you didn't have to watch me gluing all this on. You're gonna just take a glue stick and you're going to little by little glue a small section and then you're gonna take your squares of paper and make sure you press, press, press. Don't leave any blank spots. Feel free to overlap because then it looks really pretty. And you just wanna make sure that you fill in, to the best of your ability, the oval. And again, if you wanna make sure that you don't have any empty spots, you can look from the seahorse side. You can almost see it on camera there. You can see the colors. And if you look through and it looks like you missed a spot, you can always add some more paper. So once you glue on all of your beautiful squares, and again, feel free to make sure you glue on really well, I would set it aside. You wanna let it dry maybe an hour. It shouldn't take more than that. And then you're gonna need some scissors and parents you're gonna cut it out, or if you wanna help your child cut it out, that's fine. So that's the only action that I'm gonna to do today. Maybe you can hear me doing snip, snip, snip. You're gonna cut out on the other side. And while I'm cutting, I would just like to take a moment to say what a pleasure it's been to imagine all of you watching these videos all summer. This is my last one for summer program. And for some of you, my graduates, this will be the last video you pretty much ever watch of Ms. Deb doing an art activity. So I really hope that you're watching and I hope that you made everything I sent home this summer. And if you didn't get a chance to, but you still have all the supplies, I'm not taking these videos down. So you can always, you know, go back on there. And in case you miss Ms. Deb and you wanna see me doing something fun, like cutting out a seahorse, you can always do that. All right, I'm almost done. It might be a little tricky for the kids to do the real curvy part, but some of the larger sections, you might be able to help them do some hand over hand. We're almost done cutting out our seahorse. And here we go, here we go, here we go. I'm almost done. I'm at the tail. I'm at the tail. Let's make sure we get just below the mouth. And oh, da, 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 da. I've cut it out. Oh, beautiful, so pretty. And the last thing that you have to do is take your Sharpie and you're just gonna draw a little eye on there. You can draw a dot, you can draw an eyeball that has a little bit more shape to it. So on my first one, I just drew a little dot. And on this one, I drew a different eye. Woo, whatever makes you happy. If you wanna draw a smiley face on there, you can too. But you end up with really, really pretty little seahorses. And again, if you wanna hold your seahorse while you listen to Miss Deb read Mr. Seahorse, that'd be so cool. Look, they almost look exactly alike. So many beautiful colors. 
Anyway, friends, that's it for this week's art activity. And as always, I really wish that we could have been together this summer, but this is the next best thing. So I'm going to send you a seahorse kiss mwah, and a seahorse hug. And to my graduates, thanks for watching all summer, and I will miss you. I'll see you at graduation, maybe even before. And to my non-graduates, you can look forward to more art activities from Miss Deb, probably, in the fall. All right, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Let's let the seahorses swim us on out of this video. Woo! Bye, everyone. Have a great day.